Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and an amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the top 10 AI stocks to buy in 2020. So I hope you guys enjoy it and overall, I hope you guys learned something. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them down below. Also, if you guys want to sign up with Moomoo, you guys can literally get a free stock just by signing up. That will be the first link down below, so make sure you guys check them out. So now let's jump into it, roll the intro, let's go. Bam! So now the reason why I wanted to actually go ahead and pick the top AI or artificial intelligence stocks is because my future predictions is that's going to be one of the top growing sectors in the next 10 years. So I do think there is a ton of opportunity to make some money in it. But now let's actually go ahead and look at the top 10 stocks. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so the very first stock here is ticker symbol NVDA, also known as NVIDIA. This stock does pay a nice solid dividend. Also, the earnings reports are actually pretty decent and... The third thing is it is an upward trend. This stock here uses this 200 moving average line as support. So anytime that this stock has fallen into that state, we get buying pressure, buying pressure, buying pressure. So that is the support for the stock. Resistance here is around uh, $300, but it is far above that here. So really resistance could be anything. I do think it's going to hit some because it is a little overvalued right now, just strictly looking at the RSI. But I do think that this stock has a lot of long-term potential. All of these stocks, a strategy that I would recommend using is what you call dollar cost averaging. So what you do is you buy you know, one share, let's say every week. So what, what that's gonna do is it's gonna average out that price to the best point. So if you are buying in a week, let's just say you start buying, boom, 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 and then the stock falls. So now you're buying again, boom, 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 boom. And now when the stock goes up in value, you're gonna make you're gonna be making a lot more money. And then what you can do as well is anytime the stock falls more than four percent, double what you normally put in. So what this is gonna do is you guys are gonna be buying the dips of all these stocks that have an upward trend. So when it falls down, you're just getting a better average price here. So now moving on to the second one, here's the one and only Google here. Beautiful upward trend, same thing, 200 moving average line as support. No dividend with this one, but a ton of long-term AI potential. And I do think AI is gonna be one of the top growing sectors within the next couple of years here. Uh, so now moving on here, we have ticker symbol CRM. No dividend with this one, but look at this growth, guys. $87 all the way up to $202. So this is an absolute, um, you know, over 100% gain if you guys would have got into this. But I do think still, there's a lot of long-term potential with these. AI is still growing at a rapid pace and, you know, nothing is slowing it down. We are only getting more dependent on phones, uh, computers, TV, smart devices. So that's what I'm talking about AI. I do think there's a ton of pot potential for it. Now the next one here is AYX, beautiful growth here. You guys can see that this stock uses this 90 moving average line as support. So anytime that this stock hits it, boom, support buying pressure. So that is a really nice thing to see as well. Beautiful growth, beautiful upper trend here. No dividend, but that's okay because this stock went from 18 to almost $200. That is around 655% uh, return. Um, a lot of still long-term potential with this one here. Now, the next one here is a tycoon giant, the one and only Amazon, A-M-Z-N. No dividend, but this is a pure growth stock. You know, you're gonna be getting into this. Um, really, anytime you guys think that the stock is overvalued, the stock uh, goes up. You know, if you guys would've got in here at 1,400, that may seem expensive, but not as expensive as 3,200. Right now, this stock is breaking over um, overbought territory. So yes, I do think most likely in the next couple of days, we'll get some sort of sell off to around 3000. And I do think a fair price is, uh, you know, that $3,000 mark. Now, I did make a video really explaining why I thought the $2,500 mark was a fair buy. And I did actually purchase a couple shares. So I do think right now it's a it's going up and I do think it, there's nothing stopping it. Now, the next one here is uh, Microsoft, um, S, uh, MSFT, beautiful growth, nice solid dividend. Um, this is a perfect storm AI stock, heavily involved in tech. You know, I'm sure you guys all use Microsoft, Windows 10, all that other stuff, Office. Uh, this stock has a ton of beautiful growth, and I do think all of their products are actually really well made. But, 
you're going to be getting paid a dividend with this one as well. It's nothing huge, but it's definitely a nice solid paycheck every quarter. So that's always good to see. Now, the next one here is uh, ticker symbol TWLO. Beautiful growth here. And within a single week, the stock went around 63%. That's where we get this huge gap up here. The stock is slowly growing to be one of the largest um, companies in AI out there. And I do think it's still a little under valued i do think there's a lot of future for it as well so now the next one here is ibm this is one that is kind of trading sideways but you're going to be getting paid a dividend you're going to be getting some sort of exposure into other markets um do i think this is a heavily bought stock and is you know the best to get no i don't think this is the best stock to get but i do think it's definitely one to keep an eye on because they are heavily involved in tech really and uh, ai now, the next one here is Facebook. <coughs> Facebook is one of the largest social media platforms out there. And I'm sure you guys know they are heavily involved in AI and tech. So I do think ton of potential for this one. 200 moving average line as support. Uh, really resistance here at uh, 215 all the way to 225. Right now, it's at 245. I do have, I think, only one share of this. I got in at 205. I'm up 40 bucks. Nothing heavy on this one. But, you know, this stock does have a lot of long-term potential. Now, the next one here is uh, Tencent Holdings. This is like the Google of China. Uh, this is one that pays a yearly dividend. It looks like around 11 or 12 cents. Beautiful growth here. This one uses the 200 moving average line as some heavy support. So really, it's very rare to see this actually stock fall below it. So it hits it, bought back up, hits it, bought back up. Right now that this stock is falling or is going up uh, pretty quickly here. It's at a 80 on the RSI. So there's a little downside potential here. Fair buy, it would be around uh, $60 in my personal opinion. But if that's say you guys just don't want to go ahead and buy individual stocks, what I would do and what I am doing is I am buying a couple shares of this uh, ETF. The reason why is because I do think that there this is a fair buy at around $230. This is that old uh, resistance, so that's gonna be the new support for this stock. So I do think getting into this ETF is getting exposure to AI stocks, tech stocks, and you guys can just use the strategy, dollar cost averaging, buying, let's say, one share of this a month, you guys are gonna be doing just fine. Beautiful growth, beautiful upper trend, hitting resistance almost near this 200 moving average line. So I do think that this is a good one to get. Also, you guys are going to be getting paid a dividend as well. So it's always a good little thing to have. So those are the top AI stocks, guys. So that is it, though. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and overall, stay safe out there. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bam.